People are always asking me about how to better organize their CSS, and I won't lie, it's not easy. It's also one of the reasons that I love SAS, because using partials makes my life so much easier. So let's go and take a look at them. So to take a look at why I love partials so much, here is my personal site that I'm currently in uh, the middle of reworking. I've been doing it live over on Twitch lately. And I have been using SAS to do it. And you can see here, I have a SAS folder. And inside my SAS folder, I have a whole bunch of subfolders here. I'm going to talk more about how I organize these, why I name them the way I do, and other methods that you can use for it. And I think the you know, best practices in getting organized with them after. But let's say I wanted to style my buttons. What I'm going to do is here in VS Code, push Command P or Control P, and then I'm going to write buttons. And you can see right at the top, I have my buttons right there. And you can see all of my styles here that are relating to my buttons coming in right there and different things that I'm using them for here. Uh, there was some experimentation and different stuff, but this is all my button related styles. Or if I know it's something that's on my homepage, push command P right in home. There we go. Here's all my styles that are related to the homepage. Or I need to make a change to my typography, command P, typography. And I have all my typography related things all here. Now I know there's other ways of doing this and you can do a control F to find if you have one big file and you wanna circle through it, or there's ways of even doing searches that are going through multiple files. And if you know exactly what you're looking for, that can be fine. But especially for things like this, where like if I'm looking for my buttons, I get it like, you know, control P button, I could use a find for that because I could just look for my uh, .btn or my .button class like that. But let's say my typography where I have all of my heading stuff together. I might want to be working on several things in there. I don't want to just find like, uh, you know, I'm even breaking up my body styles into several different declarations depending on what it's doing. Is it more layout related or is it more typography related? So that way when I do my control P and type in typography, uh, typography, I know that it's going to my typography stuff and everything in here is related only to typography and not to other things that you know, I don't care about when I'm looking here. So then I can update multiple things with my typography or whatever I need to do. Same with colors, same with other things like that. So I push command P colors and here's all my colors uh, set up like this. If you're curious about what this is, these are SAS maps, which you can do some really incredible things. I will have some content coming out on how I can use this to do some really cool stuff with, but that is not ready yet. Um, but yeah, it's just for me, a nice easy way to be able to quickly get to what I wanna get to without having to stress too much about it, without having to remember either exact class names or to get to general groupings of things. Or like, like for example, on my, if I know I'm doing work on my courses page and it's specific stuff for my courses page, when I do that, like I have my course grid, my course card and other things here that are related only to my courses page and not to any other page. So the advantage of doing that again is I don't have to remember that I called it course grid. I just have to remember that it's something that's specific to my course page or I have my article page, same idea, uh, where I can do that and I don't have a lot of stuff here because most of my stuff doesn't go into page specific or layout specific things, uh, but it does make it a bit easier than having to remember very specific classes all the time. Now, as far as to how to actually organize it, let's look at how I've done it and then I'm gonna look at how I got to this point. <laughs> um, so my abstracts, as I mentioned, are things that are not actually compiled into CSS. Everything in here is some sort of variable or mix in my maps here. Uh, I don't actually have any functions right now, but my mix-ins that I'm using uh, here, I have another map for my typography, a very small map here for my breakpoints, but these are all things that don't actually turn into CSS. Then what I do is I have my base style, which are, you know, I'm bringing in my font face, a reset, my root, which we won't worry about that right now, uh, my typography related things, things that I considered very like general and global styles that affect everything. There's element selectors in there a lot of the time instead of class selectors and that type of thing. Components is my individual uh, components. So I have my buttons, my labels, and um, actually I'm gonna rename that to tags, I think, uh, my navigation and different reusable things like that. Layouts is page related stuff. So my courses page, my home page. Um, I might also have things that are going to be related to my YouTube page eventually. Lay if you have a single page layout, it could be sections instead of layouts. If you have a multi-page one, but you know, you have four pages that all use the same layout, you don't need to have one for every single layout, but just something that has my general layouts and then my utility classes that I have coming in. So I have a container class, it's on its own file. I have a flow class that I use. Um, 
Actually, there's a few others. Normally I'd have my screen reader only in here as well as other ones. But again, this is a work in progress. So not all the things that I will eventually have are actually in here yet, but utility classes all get put into there. Another approach that is really popular is this. This is from SAS guidelines. I'm gonna put the link to this in the description below. This is where I started and this is where, what I was using for a long time. But then just as I saw the way I write my CSS or SCSS changing a little bit, as well as just the needs I had, I did diverge a little bit from this, but this is a really nice starting place. And if you're not sure, I'd really encourage A, checking this page out for a lot about SAS. I don't think it's been updated in a while, so there are a few things. Um, it hasn't been updated with Dart SAS, so just be a little bit careful if you're using some of the newer SAS stuff, but the overall structure here, I think is excellent. The base components layout, so you can see where things are coming from. Now he did split layout and pages, and he talks about why here, so you can get more information. I found that I wasn't using one or the other enough, so I merged them together for my purposes. This can also change project to project, so just be aware of that. For example, themes, if you have a project with themes, you would include this. If you're not gonna have a project with themes, you wouldn't use it at all, right? Uh, same with, uh, or here's my abstracts, as I have as well. And then vendors, so if you're using any third-party stuff that you're bringing in, you could argue that this is where a normalize or a re some sort of CSS reset could even be included here. I do mine just in my base because that's where my reset file goes. Um, and these days I am using Andy Bell's reset. So if you do want to check that, I'll put that in the description down there as well. Um, but yeah, I would definitely encourage you to start with a established structure. And then as you're using it more in every project you do, again, you'll see some changes, some things that are a little bit different, but this is a fantastic place to get started. Because if you're just trying to figure it out and it's not working for you, then that can be a little bit hard. Whereas if you use a system that's already been established and then you make adjustments as you keep making projects with it, it makes it so much easier. One thing with partials is they used to use the at import syntax, but that's being deprecated by SAS and it's now moving to using at use and at forward instead. So if this video piqued your interest, you wanna see how to get into using partials and more information on using forward and use, go and check out this video right here where I dive into those in a lot more detail. Thank you so much for watching. A huge thank you to my enabler of awesome, Zach, and all my other patrons for their support each and every month. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.